going to show you I'm going to show you how to use VoiceThread. This is the free version on the iPad. So I'm going to select VoiceThread by tapping it. And I um, am already logged in. I can go to my account on the bottom right corner. When I select account, you will see that I am signed in. And the current identity I'm using is student A. But I can, you can see I have my own identity is there as well. So when I select that and I go over to VT Home, you'll notice that I have already made five accounts, excuse me, five voice threads. That is what you get for free when you, you download the free voice thread app. You can, you can create five free voice threads. After that, you do have to pay to create more, or you can upgrade to the Pro, which will allow unlimited. Since I've created my five, I'm going, to head, I'm going to go ahead and select one that I've used already. So I'm going to select the Texas. And you can see some different choices here um, for this activity. I can share, I can bookmark, I can vote. If I push play or just tap on the picture, it is going to open up my voice thread. On the bottom right corner, you'll see a plus sign. When you click on that plus sign, you get three choices. ABC means to add text, the microphone means you're going to add your voice, and the video camera is going to add a video. Um, it'll turn on your camera and you'll be able to record yourself talking. So I, if I select text, this allows me to add in any kind of text that I want to add in. And then of course the microphone will do a countdown and then you can begin speaking. So now that it has counted down, it is recording what I have to say about this particular picture. So I could leave comments, I could share what I've learned, I could um, give feedback, whatever it is I need. When I'm done, I'm going to click the blinking red light to stop recording. And it'll play back automatically. So I could leave comments, I could share what I've learned, I could. Um, give feedback, whatever it is I need. When I'm done... So when I'm, now that I'm done recording and I've listened to my voice, it sounds like I want it to sound, on the bottom right corner I'm going to select Save. And it's going to save my comment. So that's the basic function of VoiceThread. It is very easy to use. Um, just keep in mind you can only create five voice threads. Also you cannot delete those voice threads when you're using the free version of VoiceThread.